Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. I am so excited to share today's vlog with you guys. I am officially back from London as you are seeing this, but I am very excited to share the London footage with you guys. We had such an amazing trip. It was just a very unforgettable journey and I'm so excited for you to see it. But before I share the London footage with you guys, Larry and I have come up with a new Halloween design. Every Halloween season, we try to come up with a new design and this is this season's design. So we have cute cats and pumpkins and a ghost holding a cup of coffee and we have a skeleton holding a vlogging camera. So this is this year's design and I'm super excited to share it with you guys. If you are interested in it, I will have a link below in the description box and it comes in many different sizes, many different color options. So yeah, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check it out down below. It will be available for a very limited time. Once they are gone, they will be gone. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. And now let's get on with our London vlog. We are officially in London. This is the first of the London vlogs. We had our overnight flight. We got in this morning. We are staying at the Stratton, is that right? Hotel. And we just had our first, well, my first afternoon tea experience. So I'm gonna show you guys our little adorable, quaint room. It's just so cute. I love it. It is adorable. You have the wardrobe window, Luana, the bed, I come with the room. <laughs> and just some like cute furniture pieces, little area to get ready, mirror, and then our bathroom with a shower. So let me roll some clips that I have from the drive-in and from the restaurant where we had our afternoon tea. And now we're gonna take a walk. We're actually gonna do the hop on, hop off bus tour, which I'm very much looking forward to. It's just gonna be fun just to sit on the bus and enjoy the scenery, but then to hop off if we wanna get off and look at anything extra. And the cold front finally came into London for you guys. I know if you live here, it's been very, very hot for you guys. Luana and I, <laughs> We're Florida girls, so we were freezing. So we brought coats. We're coming back to the hotel to wear our coats on the bus tour because we want to sit on the top deck so we can look at all the stuff. But yeah, I'm going to take you guys around London and I hope you enjoy hanging out with us. All right, so first on our list for day one in London was lunch and tea. We had an overnight flight, so we kind of stopped at the hotel and got dressed and ready and then head out right to explore London. So we headed to the Bloomsbury Hotel for lunch and tea. across the umbrella shop or a, I don't know what it is, but it is just so beautiful. The James Smith and Sons established 1830 umbrellas. And I don't know, the building just struck me. I loved it so much. So basically everything that you're seeing here is everything that I thought was really beautiful. The next thing that we did was waited for our hop on, hop off bus tour, which was actually really fun. We saw so many iconic locations in London and I'm just gonna roll the footage now, play some music for you guys. And I did my best to list the locations that we passed. Hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. If I did, please forgive me. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. And once we saw everything that we saw, um, visually on the bus, we also walked past all of these locations at a later date.
first things first, when we left our hotel, there was a cute little coffee shop right down the street from our hotel and it's called Store Street Espresso. Definitely recommend, the espressos are amazing, and I also had an almond croissant there that was really good. So that was our first stop of the day. We then went down to the subway and caught the underground, which was an experience for me, and I loved it. It definitely reminded me of when we went to New York City, and then I saw Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Well, I saw the building. I didn't actually see the play, but it was really fun to stumble across that as well. And then we popped into Trafalga Square. I'm probably pronouncing that so wrong, but I was really excited to go there because as a huge fan of Harry Potter, that is where they filmed the premiere for the last movie. They probably have filmed other ones there as well, but they did the huge event there and I watched it on the TV and it was just so exciting. So to be there and know that that's where the cast went and where everybody celebrated, it was really fun. Of course, there's so many other amazing reasons. Trafalgar Square is so incredible, but that's what kind of stood out to me. So I was excited to experience it. This day was actually pretty warm. Um, so definitely was overdressed that day, but then we popped into Snowflake, which served gelato, and I believe I got the walnut gelato, and it was so yummy. This was my first time ever having gelato as well. Next, oh my gosh, probably one of my favorite parts of the trip was Buckingham Palace. We walked there from the train station, and it was evening, so it was sunset. So it was just definitely a cool evening and the temperature as in like cool evening. And it was amazing to see Buckingham Palace in real life. Of course, I've seen it in movies and in shows and you know, in documentaries and such like that. But just to be there in person and see it is a whole another amazing experience. And I loved every minute of it. So just really taking in the scenery and just, it was amazing. so beautiful. Thanks, darling. So cute. Uh-huh. So does that cat. Yes, it does. Next, we headed to Kung Fu Noodle and had the most authentic ramen. It was delicious. And then we headed out to another restaurant. We basically ate our way around London. This was delicious. So we had a margarita pizza, add mushrooms, and it was yummy and some pasta. Now on to day three, we stopped at our favorite espresso shop again, and there's my almond croissant, delicious. Had another latte with a shot of espresso, much needed because honestly guys, we really did not sleep on this trip. We were up late every single night and up super early to start the day. And then we stopped at Fabrique where I had a cardamom bun, I guess. It was so good. It's some type of seasoning, I think. You're gonna like it or hate it? I love it. Yeah? It's a very distinctive flavor, right? What does it remind you of? Kind of like Christmas, Christmas Eve. Also incense, like certain scents. Cardamom, I love it. Yeah? Just casually eating on the street as one does Yama. and this is joe and the juice which was the best juice i've ever had
oh my gosh, we saw a wedding and we actually watched them come out and pop into their Rolls Royce. I was like, we have got to see who is getting married. I think it's so fun. Every time Larry and I go on a trip, we actually witness a wedding somewhere. It's so funny. Next, we were heading into Leiden Hall and Market. We actually didn't pop in and eat anywhere. We just kind of strolled through and looked at everything. This is supposed to be, I believe, um, a Harry Potter location, possibly. I'm not quite sure on that. Um, but yeah, we popped in here. It was so beautiful. It was very busy and lots of people eating lots of food. Next, we headed to the Tower Bridge, the iconic bridge that you see in all the films. And it was so surreal to be there. Oh my gosh, flower and grape. If you guys live in that area or nearby where you're visiting London, you have to try flower and grape. They make all their pasta in-house and it was the best pasta I have had in my entire life. There was quite a queue line to get into the restaurant. Oh my gosh, I can't begin to explain. Like I will be dreaming about this pasta for the rest of my life. It was that good, 10 out of 10 recommend. And then we finished the night at the Tower of London and looked at the London Eye and just kind of walked casually around the streets and made our way back to the hotel for the night. And it was really amazing. And I loved all the beautiful colors and just soaked it all in. Good morning, everybody. Luana and I are up and early this morning in London and we are headed off to the Harry Potter studio tour, which I am so excited about. Luana's also excited about. We're both huge fans of Harry Potter. So I'm, I'm so like, I cannot believe we're going. I'm just that excited. We just stepped off at Store Street Espresso and picked up a coffee, which is very good, very delicious. And the route we're taking to the studio is train. So we're going, I think it's a couple of trains. So we have to take a bus. Uh -huh and a bus. So Luana's figuring all of that out and we're headed off to the Harry Potter studio tour. Guys, we arrived. I'm so excited. How excited are you? Very, very oh, excited as I walk into the thing. had goosebumps. Yeah, we did. We rode the bus in. It was so fun. It was so magical. And we are finally about to walk in. I'm so excited. The chess pieces are incredible. 
Okay guys, before I start rolling this B-roll footage of the most magical place I have ever seen in my life, I just have to say the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, the making of Harry Potter was so incredible. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was geeking out. But do know the inner me was literally screaming and jumping for joy. It was just so magical to be able to see the costumes and the sets and literally walk on the floor that the cast and crew walked on who made the amazing Harry Potter films. I just, I can't put it into words and I'm so thankful that I was able to experience this and get to see it in real life. And I am so, so beyond excited to share it here with you guys as well. Yeah, I'm trying not to get like emotional right now, <laughs> but like watching it back and like taking it all in is just so beautiful and I loved every minute of it. So I hope you guys enjoy the magical Harry Potter footage that you are about to see.
We just finished the inside of the studio tour, which is amazing. We are outside now. It's so magical. I feel like the interview is geeking out right now. Hmm? I'm like, are you geeking out right now? Now that we are coming to an end of this vlog, I just wanna thank every one of you for watching and also London, I love you. You are beautiful. You have given me so many incredible memories and this is gonna be one of those vlogs that I go back and watch time and time again. It was just such an incredible experience and one that I'm gonna be thankful for for the rest of my life. Um, I'm very excited to share the next vlog with you guys. That is the secret location that we went to. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for spending your time with me and for watching. Thank you for leaving a comment. Thank you for thumbs upping this video. And yeah, guys, just a huge thank you for all of your love and support. And I will see you guys again in the next one. Bye.